Would you say that if a manufacturer, let's say we're talking about a pressurized vessel that is in the scope of the EN13445. So let's say a manufacturer says, well, I mean, we're, we're in the segment of sound engineering practice in that plot. We want to use the EN13445 anyway, because it gives yeah. us, you know, something to work with. Is that like a no brainer or do you see a lot of uh, manufacturers uh, not doing that? I was thinking, you know, I think most people would probably agree that the obvious place to sort of start to make your basis for claiming sound engineering practice would be the implementation of relevant standards, whether that's the harmonized standard or, you know, other standards like the ASME codes and standards, you know, but if they are, if like clearly relevant to the type of product that you are supplying, then, like I say, that seems to me to be a very good basis on which to be able to demonstrate, you know, compliance with sound engineering practice.